Yeah, Micah, this doctor was associated with UCLA for nearly 35 years. He worked at places like the Ronald Reagan Medical Center, the UCLA Student Health Center, among other places. Now, UCLA today agreed to pay more than $240 million to more than 200 patients who accused the doctor of sexually abusing them. Today, after eight long years, I receive recognition of what happened to me. Although there is some consolation in that, my heart breaks for all the women who were not spared. These are two of the women who say they were victimized by UCLA doctor James Heaps. I went to Dr. Heaps for an abnormal pap smear in um, the late 90s. And I went to see him and he sexually abused me. He would take what was a normal medical procedure and flip it into something that was sexual assault. Tuesday, the women and their attorneys talked about the more than $240 million UCLA agreed to pay to settle allegations brought by more than 200 people, some who say for years they were ignored. If UCLA had listened to me over 20 years ago, none of us would be here today. UCLA put out a statement about the settlement that said in part, the conduct alleged to have been committed by heaps is reprehensible and contrary to the university's values. And we hope this settlement is one step toward providing healing and closure for the plaintiffs involved. Dr. Heaps was not part of the civil settlement and does not approve of it. Leonard Levine is Dr. Heaps' attorney. He's adamantly denied engaging in any of the conduct that has he's been accused of. And he remains confident uh, that if, if the charges are litigated in a court of law, he will be totally exonerated. Now, this is not the end of the problems for UCLA or the doctor. The UCLA, according to the LA Times, still faces more civil lawsuits from more than 300 former patients who were not part of this settlement today. As for the doctor, he was indicted on criminal charges by a grand jury. His attorney tells us he's currently appealing those grand jury indictments. For now, reporting live in Irvine, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.